Administering oxygen therapy. Nasal cannula. For oxygen therapy via nasal cannula, you will need a nasal cannula, oxygen tubing, a humidifier and distilled water, and an optional pulse oximeter. As you walk in, provide for privacy. Verify your client's identity and check the physician's order. Explain the procedure and hazards of oxygenation via nasal cannula to the client. Explain to clients who smoke that no smoking is allowed while oxygen is in use, as it is highly combustible. Next, wash your hands. If you are using a humidifier, fill it with distilled water and attach it to the oxygen flow meter. Check for bubbling in the humidifier. Attach the oxygen tubing and nasal cannula to the oxygen flow meter. Put on clean gloves. Turn on the oxygen and set it to the prescribed flow rate. Use extension tubing for ambulatory clients. Place the nasal prongs in the client's nostrils. Secure the cannula in place by adjusting the tubing around the client's ears and using the slip ring to stabilize it under the client's chin. Check for the proper flow rate every four hours. Assess the client's nostrils every eight hours. If the client complains of dryness or has signs of irritation, use sterile lubricant to keep the mucous membranes moist. Add a humidifier if needed and not already in place. Monitor vital signs, oxygen saturation, and the client's condition every four to eight hours for signs and symptoms of hypoxia. Oxygen is not without side effects and should be used only as long as needed. Wean the client from oxygen as soon as possible using standard protocols. Remove your gloves and wash your hands. Finish by documenting the procedure. Mask. When using a mask for oxygen therapy, select the appropriate type of mask. Either a high flow device, a simple low flow mask, a partial rebreather mask, or a non-rebreather mask and face tent. Additional supplies include oxygen tubing, an optional pulse oximeter, and a humidifier with distilled water. Follow the same procedure, then attach the appropriately sized mask or face tent to the oxygen tubing and turn on the flow meter to the prescribed flow rate. The high flow device will have color-coded inserts that list the flow rate necessary to obtain the desired percentage of oxygen. Allow the reservoir bag of the non-rebreathing or partial rebreathing mask to fill completely. Check for bubbling in the humidifier to verify proper functioning. Place the mask or tent on the client's face and fasten the elastic band around the ears and tighten it until the mask fits snugly. Check for the proper flow rate every four hours. Ensure that the ports of the high flow device are not under the covers or impeded by any other source to ensure the proper oxygen percentage is being administered. Assess the client's face and ears for pressure from the mask and use padding as needed. Wean the client to a nasal cannula and then wean off oxygen per protocol. Remove your gloves and wash your hands. Document the administration of oxygen. Oxygen via an artificial airway. For oxygen administration via a tracheostomy or endotracheal tube, you will need a T-tube adapter or tracheostomy mask, oxygen tubing, an optional pulse oximeter, and a humidifier with distilled water, and a warmer. Begin by verifying the client's identity and checking the physician's order. Wash your hands and put on clean gloves. Next, attach the humidifier and add a warmer to the oxygen flow meter. Warming of the air is essential because an artificial airway bypasses the upper airway. Next, attach the wide bore oxygen tubing and T-tube adapter or tracheostomy mask to the flow meter and turn it to the flow rate needed to achieve the prescribed oxygen concentration. An oxygen analyzer may be used to check the actual oxygen percentage being delivered. Check for bubbling in the humidifier and a fine mist from the adapter. Attach the T-piece to the client's artificial airway or place the mask over the client's airway. Be sure the T-piece is firmly attached to the airway. 
Position the tubing so that it does not pull on the client's artificial airway. Check for proper flow rate and patency of the system every one to two hours, depending on the acuity of the client. Suction as needed to maintain a patent airway. Monitor for signs and symptoms of hypoxia, airway patency, vital signs, and oxygen saturation every two hours. Additionally, monitor the breath sounds in tube position every four hours. Wean the client from therapy as ordered by the physician. Always finish any type of oxygen administration by washing your hands and documenting the procedure.